Today I would like to show you how to use Eclipse to create a web service that is running on Tomcat server. Let's start the Eclipse workspace. We create a new workspace. All right. So first of all, we have to ensure that the assist has been set correctly. So we go to preference assist. And this assist runtime location. And since this is empty, we have to uh, an assist to download the assist from here. We choose a zip version. And after downloading and extracting, you become something like this. And we select it. And then we have to set the server and runtime. Set it to assist two. All right. Apply. Okay. And then we create a project, a dynamic project, dynamic web project, test uh, web service, and the target runtime is G6.0, which we install it here. And then we modify the configuration, choose assist web, assist to web service, next, and finish. Okay. Create a source bar, a class. So we do a simple add service. In the add service, we specify the add function. All right. After that, we create directly new other. We create a web service. Ensure this is Tomcat whatever version, and this is Apache SS2. And we browse for ads. This is the ad service we have just created. No, sorry. Ad service. And then um, next. Finish. All right, the Tomcat server is started, and now we want to right click on it, run as, run on server. Next, finish. So click on the services, and this is the S services we have created, and click on it. All right, I'll copy, copy the WSDL, and then we use sub UI to test whether our web service is working well. Click on the sub UI. So Super UI is a software that can call the web service and return you the result. It's a very easy to use software, so don't worry of it. Right click on it, new sub project. Uh, we'll paste the WSDL we have just now. OK. And then we click on the double click on the request one. So this is two versions of SOAP 1.1 and 1.2. So we choose whatever one. And then we type in value of x is 2, value of y is 3, so we run it. Alright, it returns us a 5. That's it. Thank you very much.